Are you sick of wasting hours upon hours of your time trying to set up Google Ads conversions? If that's you, you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Ads conversions for your campaign in under five minutes. Yes, that's right, five minutes. Plus, if you stay to the end of this video, I'll give you a link so you can download my step-by-step -step process. So that way, as we go through this video, you don't need to stress about each step because after watching this video, you can download my step-by-step -step process so you can follow it whenever you need to. If we haven't met before, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. We all understand the importance of having correct and accurate conversion data. As well, metrics like your click-through ratio, your keyword quality score, or your average cost per click are really important metrics that you need to keep track of. Ultimately, your Google Google Ads campaign has one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to either drive more sales or to increase the number of inquiries that you're getting on a daily basis. Having accurate and correct conversion data means that as you optimize your account, you can focus your budget on the keywords, the ad copies, the audiences, and the locations that are providing you the highest level of conversions for the lowest cost. And this is why your conversions in Google Ads need to be set up correctly. When it comes to setting up conversion actions in your Google Ads campaigns, there are a couple of different methods and tools that you can use. But the process that I use is to set up your conversion actions in Google Analytics using Google Tag Manager and then import those conversions from Google Analytics into your Google Ads campaign. And there are three reasons for why I use this method. And the first reason is, is because it's simple and easy. Out of all of the different methods that I've tried, I found this one to be the easiest to use, especially if you're a beginner. And even if you are advanced in Google Ads, I still use this method. And the reason for that is because I find it the most robust and the most trustworthy source for tracking your conversion actions. A real quick note, if you don't have Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager set up on your website yet, in the description below, I've actually put some easy to follow links that you can use, whether you're using a WordPress site, a Wix site, or a Shopify site, so that you can set up Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager on your website. And the second reason for why I use this method is that it guarantees that the data Data you're seeing in your Google Ads campaign actually matches the data that you see in your Google Analytics profile. So it removes the chance of seeing any discrepancies between Google Ads and also Google Analytics. And the third and final reason, and probably the most important reason for why I use this method, it means that you can look at your assisted conversions report in Google Analytics. The assisted conversions report in Google Analytics is a report that you can run and use to see the relationship between all of your channels when it comes to individual conversion actions. This allows you to see the relationship relationship that Google Ads has with your other marketing channels, whether that be email, social, direct, or your organic traffic. So by using this method, you're getting the full story of how all of your campaigns and marketing efforts across multiple channels are interacting and assisting each other. So that you can best understand the steps that we're going to be taking to set up your conversion tracking in Google Ads using Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. I firstly just wanted to quickly take you through the relationship between Google Ads, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager. As you may know, in Google Ads, this is where you create and optimize your Google Ads campaign, whereas Google Analytics is how you track and see what happens when people actually visit your website. Now, of course, you do get some data in Google Ads in regards to how many people have seen your ads, how many people click on your ads, but what Google doesn't give you in the Google Ads console is it doesn't let you know what happens when people get onto your website. And this is where Google Analytics comes into account. It actually shows you exactly what happens when people get onto your website, and you can even filter that down to actually seeing what happens when people get onto your website from your different Google Ads campaigns. And then finally, Google Tag Manager allows you to set up conversion tags and it actually connects these tags and triggers with your website, your Google Ads profile, and also your Google Analytics account. So you can see that you need these three different profiles all working in one so you can get the proper conversion data for your Google Ads campaigns. Now that you know the relationship between Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and Google Ads, we can start to get into this training of how you can set up your very own Google Ads conversion actions. But before we do that, so that I can continue to release these step-by-step -step training videos to help you increase the performance of your Google Ads campaigns, could you do me a huge favor and not only like this video, but also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Let's get into the training. As we're going through this process of setting up your conversion actions using Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager, my recommendation is for you to do this using Google Chrome. And the reason for this is that this is the best browser that allows you to actually 
actually test your conversion actions when we get to that step. And in this process, I recommend that you have four tabs ready to go. The first one with your Google Analytics profile, the second one with your Google Tag Manager profile, the third one with your Google Ads account, and then finally have your website on the fourth tab and have it on the page where you're actually gonna be testing the conversion action. And for this example, we're gonna be setting up a conversion action to trigger every time someone clicks on this email button right here, which sends me an email. And the reason for why I'm showing you this example is that it can actually be easy replicated whether you wanted to track if someone wanted to click on your phone number, if you had one on your website, or if you wanted to track for every time someone actually fills out your form like we've got here. So the first step of the process is that we actually need to link your Google Analytics and your Google Ads accounts together. And the way that we do this, we go into Google Analytics, go into admin, and then when you're in admin, under this property section, click on Google Ad Links. And then once you've clicked on the Google Ad Links, you'll see this option to create a new link group. Now, as you can see, I've already got this account set up with our Define Digital Academy, but I'm gonna set up a new link group and I'm gonna set this up with a new profile, which is this Define Digital Training. We select that account and then once we select that, scroll down to the bottom and click Continue. And then from there, we wanna click on this button here because we want all of our website data to go into Google Analytics. And the reason for why we wanna select that is that that gives us more reporting data in Google Analytics from Google Ads. And then from there, we click on Link Accounts. And then once we've clicked on Linked Accounts, you need to go into the Google Ads campaign that you've just sent the request through, refresh the screen, go into Tools and Settings, Linked Accounts, and from here, we can actually see that this profile is already set up. And if you wanted to check it, just click on Manage and Link, and then you can scroll down, and we can see here that our Define Digital account is linked in, and we're seeing all that data flow into Google Analytics. So now that you've got your Google Analytics and your Google Ads accounts linked, we can actually go into the process of setting up conversion actions for your Google Ads campaign in under five minutes, Let's go. So to start this process, we go into Google Analytics, then go into Admin, and then from there, select Goals, and then we wanna click a new goal. And then with our goal set up, we wanna to go to Custom, Continue, and then we wanna name our goal. And the purpose here is to give your goal a name that which is easy to understand. And because we're wanting to track every time someone clicks on this email, through here, we're just gonna call this email click. And then from there, we wanna go and press event and press continue. Now from here, we need to add in our category and action. And this is why we need the Google Tag Manager set up in another tab because these naming conventions in the category and action need to be exactly the same as what they are in Google Tag Manager. So in Google Tag Manager, we go and replicate the process we've done so far. So we click on new tag. We wanna call this conversion action the same as Google Analytics. So that's email click. And then with our tag configuration, we want this to be a Google Analytics Universal Analytics conversion action. And once again, we're selecting this as an event. And this is where we need to make sure that the category and action are exactly the same in Google Tag Manager as what they are in Google Analytics. So for the category, we're gonna say conversion. And for the action, we're gonna say email click. And then we just copy this over, go into Google Tag Manager. The category, once again, is conversion and the action is email click. So we're making sure that these two are exactly the same. And then from here in Google Tag Manager, we need to select this Google Analytics settings. Now in Google Tag Manager, I've already set up my Google Analytics profile, but if you haven't done this yet so far, all you need to do is copy over your Google Analytics tracking code to add this in here. So we've already done the first part where we've got our tag configured in Google Tag Manager, and this is set up in Google Analytics. So in Google Analytics, we then press save because the rest of the actions that we need to complete are now in Google Tag Manager. Now what we need to do in Google Tag Manager is set up the triggering, and this is the process where we're telling Google Analytics is that we want this to be classed as a conversion action when this action has taken place. And for us, we want this conversion action email click to fire every time someone clicks on this email address right here. So to do this, we click on triggering and then we wanna click this little blue plus sign to add a new trigger. And to make it easier, I like to write email click so that our trigger is exactly the same as the conversion action. We then press edit. And from here, we wanna click on just links. And then the next step is we wanna click on some links. And the reason for that is, is that we wanna refine and define which are the actual link clicks that we want to be classed as conversion actions. Now for this part of the process, you do need to go over to your website and when you're on the element that you want to be tracked, so for us, it's this email address, you actually wanna click your right click and you wanna to go to inspect. And what you're looking for here is something that is unique, which signifies to Google Tag Manager that that is the specific click that we want tracked. Now, thankfully on this page, we only have one email link. So we can just use the definer mail to, but if we had multiple email addresses in the trigger, we could actually 
actually just put in the actual email address so that that way Google knows that we only want that specific email track. But for this example, we're just gonna use mail to. So we go back to Tag Manager, and from here, we wanna say click element, contains, and then we write in mail to, then we click save. And then from here, it brings us back to that previous screen where we press save again. And then the next step of the process is that we actually wanna go through and preview our conversion action. And this is where that we make sure that our conversion action is firing as we've set up. So we click preview. And because we're using Google Chrome, this will allow us to complete this testing phase in our web browser. So we just go over to the website that we're wanting to use, press copy, go into our tag manager assistant, and then we can press paste, and then we wanna connect this through. And then this brings up our website, and we see this little bar down here which says Tag Assistant Connected, which lets us know that we are right to start our testing. We then complete the action that we wanna complete, and then we go back to our testing screen, press continue, and we can actually see that our email click has actually fired on the first time. Now, if you get to the situation where you've completed your conversion action, but your tag hasn't fired, what you need to do is you need to go back into that link click. So you click that there, you go into the variables, and you wanna have a look for a unique trigger that you can use. So for this website, when we're in Google Tag Manager and we're in our triggering, we could see that the click element contains mail to. And then from here, we can actually see here that the click element contains mail to. And that's what worked on my website. If your website is a little bit different, it may have a different triggering mechanism. And all you need to do is you need to go in through here. You can go to edit, choose a built-in variable, and then you can have a look because in some cases it may be the click text or it may be the click target, or it may even be the click ID. And you'll just going through and using those different options with this section here. So choosing a different one here. And then you can just go through and test the different built-in variables until you get one where you go into your testing and you actually see that this tag has fired. So as it stands right now, we have actually completed our conversion tracking. So the final thing that we need to do is we need to actually go through and submit these changes, press publish. You can write a description if you want, but I'm just gonna continue this. And then our conversion tracking is finalized and set up. Now, if you did wanna do one more last real test, you can go into Google analytics go into your real time and then conversions and you can see through here that our email click conversion has actually triggered through our testing so now we know we've got a double confirmation in both Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics that our conversion tracking is set up and completed to go. And so that you can see that the process is the same, I just did wanna show you another conversion that we've got set up in here already, which is our form submission. So you can see in here, we've followed the same process in that we're tracking an event and that we've got conversion and form submission. And then in Google Tag Manager, you can see through here is our form submission. Once again, we're showing the same category and the actions of conversion action and form submission. So you can see that these two match. But in this case for the triggering, we're actually actually using the built-in variable of form submission, which you can actually find in here in Google Tag Manager. If we wanted to edit, you can actually see in here you've got form submission. So as you can see right now, following the same process, we've quickly set up two conversion actions so that we can see and track whether someone actually clicks on this email or whether they complete that form. Now that you've set up your conversion action in Google Analytics and you've actually tested it and it is firing in Google Tag Manager and we've also cross-checked to make sure that it is also firing in Google Analytics, the final step, and this is a really, really easy step, is that we need to just import our conversion action from Google Analytics and place it into Google Ads. And to complete this process, you need to go into Google Ads click on tools and settings, and then under measurement, click on conversions. And then from there, we just wanna click on the big blue button, which says new conversion action. And then from those four options that you see, we wanna click on import, and then go down and select Google Analytics and press continue. And then this will then show you the new conversion actions, which you can add into Google Ads. Select the conversion actions you wanna import, and then press import and continue. And then that process is complete. Now, in the event that you don't see your conversion action there ready to import into Google Ads, you don't need to fear because it can take up to 25 four hours for your conversion action to appear. So in that case, just relax, come back the next day and follow that same process in Google Ads where you click on tools and settings, go to conversions and add a new conversion action. Thanks for sticking around and remember as my gift, you just need to go and follow the link in the description below so that you can get that PDF download so that you can follow those step-by-step -step process for how you can complete your Google Ads tracking using Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. It's been my absolute pleasure to take you through the simple step-by-step -step process of how you can complete Google Ads tracking using Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. And now that you've got an easy process where you can set up your very own conversion actions in Google Ads, 
What I want you to go through now is I want you to focus on improving your Google Ads campaign through targeting better keywords and you can do that right here by following this video. And then the next step is you need to have compelling ad copy so that people don't only see your ads, they click on your ads. And if you wanna learn how to write ads that people are gonna click on and not only see, you need to go through and watch this training right here. As always, thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you on our next training. Bye.